I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is the Pyramid on the Commodore 64. Now, this is a personal favourite on the Spectrum by Bob Hamilton, who still rates his games today. Actually, he still does. He's still quite involved in the in the in the Spectrum scene, certainly. Um, um, but this is the remake by by John White, and from what I've played, it's pretty damn near perfect. So it's a basic arcade game and the idea is to work your way through the chambers until you reach the bottom when you reach the bottom effectively you win now i've never done that on the spectrum because it's a bit too hard for that but um we'll give it a try on the commodore it's 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 really what it actually plays and work, works really well so let's give it a go so we're this little man in the, the thing there and he's got his little machine gun and he shoots and we've got a number of aliens it's like a at the side the bottom of the screen and once you've shot enough aliens a diamond drops and once it reaches the blue stage has to be the blue stage because you can't pick it up on the white stage, you can't pick it up on the, the yellow stage, but you can pick it on the blue stage. You can drop it over one of these doors and it allows you to sink through to the next chamber. So we're into chamber number 19. Oh! Um, your energy goes down, which is the P for power. And um, when that reaches zero, um, it's the end of the world. This is supposedly meant to be the perfect computer game. Um, I know that seems seems ridiculous, but that's the basic premise of the story. This is this is what happens when mankind creates the perfect computer game. It's 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 this one. Um, so we've got to drop that on there. There are different levels to the shields on the door. I think green, then it's pink, um, and then we go from there. But, uh, damn, lost the diamond. If you get hit when you've got it in bo on board, you lose it. Um, I think in the yellow stage it is capable of doing damage. I've managed to go down this side again. Um, different level creatures, I've noticed that to start off with. The, to be fair, it doesn't matter. It's it's this all arcadey sort of feel to it. And do you know what? It's good. It works really well. So we've got energy, we've got score, which is the S. Um, I'm going to go with the green door over here, because that's here they are. Um, S and L, obviously the level you're at on the on the on the uh, on the uh, thing. So the score works as a sort of timer as well. So let's get this open and let's get through that door. Whoa! I don't think I've ever done so well. So these are like clocks, clocks, alarm clocks. Yeah, cool. Shoot enough aliens and you get that. Now he did Doomsday Castle and a number of other things. I really like the work of uh, uh, um, Bob's character. I think he's really cool. He's one of my he's one of my sort of faves. I, I really like his little him in his little bubble with his machine gun in his hand firing his shots. I think it's really cut. I think I, I don't know something about it. I think it's quite nice. Oh, get hold of it. That's that one. Over that one. There we go. Drop it in there. Still got ninety one energy. <laughs> See if we can open this last door. Let's go. And we're out. Wow. Wow. Level five. My God. It's sort of like toasters now, aren't they? Or tellies. Tellies. The televisions, aren't they? The televisions with aerials on top. So that's what they are. I thought they were toasters for a minute. I don't know why they thought they were toasters. Such a strange thing to think they were. Um, let's get that over there. Look at them all over here. Get all those tellies. Such a smooth movement and action on the game, though. It works and plays really well. Oh, yes. Wow. There we go. Oh, wow. Defin it definitely feels easier on the Commodore 64. Um... The motion of the creatures are different, and the spectrum, uh, they're not, this one's, these, they're a lot of bouncing around on the, 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 on the, oh my goodness, nah, nah, see, I've spoke too soon, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit crazy now, with all these creatures bouncing around. Uh, gotta keep shooting these aliens, to get the, to get the, to get the bonuses, and I've gotta keep them in place. Let's go for this one, because it's quieter at the moment, that goes to green. Another one to go after that. We're we're laughing. Oh, it's invincible. Think when it's white. So if they hit it when it's white, it goes through them. Yeah, it does. When it's yellow, it destroys them still. Um, and when it's blue, I think they just destroy it, which is a bit of a shame. And and ah, damn, got me. My energy's going down significantly. Ouch! 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 I thought I was saying how easy it was. It's not. It's not now. It's not. It's the the, the, the It's not that they've got a random pattern. It's it's just the movement with 
oh damn it just the quant quantity of them coming is just and I know it's the same number of them in theory oh goodness didn't drop it it's done it now we have one left just need to get and then we can get through this door yes I'm out I'm down to the next level my goodness level 7 never been so deep I don't think there's one that tracks me oh that's nasty look at that there's at least oh no maybe even two that tracks me there are two that are tracking me now. I don't think the Spectrum version ever had any ones that were tracking you, which makes this all all the more dangerous um, of a, on a level. This is a game worth playing, though. It definitely is. I think it is. I think it's worth playing. Yeah, there's one that's kind of tracking. That's in that doorway there. Ouch. I've got it. Over this doorway. Yes. Green. Oh, got me good and proper there. Green. Pink. Get off. He's tracking. He's tracking. He's tracking. That one goes through him. Yes, I've got it. Pink. I'm through. My goodness, I'm a level 8. I think I'm not. I don't think I'm halfway yet. I feel I'm, I'm almost halfway. One that's tracking again. Oh, that that's a nasty addition to the, the Commodore version. I think the Spectrum one just has a lot more um, things on screen, if that makes sense, than, than necessarily tracking tracking ones. Yeah, it's not nice, that tracking one. Your energy resets, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, between levels. So, so. Oh. I'm getting zapped here a bit. Wow. Really enjoying this version. If you've got a Commodore or an emulator or whatever else it is, or you remember this, just fire it up and give it a go. It's it's actually good fun. Recommend this one. There we go. I'm through again. Wow. Level 9. I'm definitely getting there. Is there 15 levels to this? Oh, I don't like these. How do I hit them? Oh, yeah, I'm hitting them, but... They're flashing on and off. Ooh. Oh, 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 my goodness. That's not nice. This isn't a nice level at all. I am hitting them, but you, you, it's hard to see them being hit. Ah! This could, this could be the level that's the death of me. Yep, I can see this, because this is hard. This is extremely hard. I don't remember a level like this on the Spectrum, and my health is gone, and that's it, level 9, oh, I'm delighted though with how far I got, that's really good, I enjoyed that a lot, yeah, new score, brilliant, and the high score table as well, there was that other thing where you basically the code was representative of the high score, so 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 you could tell your mates that you've got a high score and this is the code, so so they knew how well you'd done, that was excellent, really enjoyed that, so uh, yeah, that's the pyramid on the Commodore 64, I've been your um, host, The Real Genetic Demon, thank you for watching, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video, bye bye now.